so hello everyone am i visible and audible to you people i hope i am visible to audible to you people just let me confirm just give me one minute it is confirmed to me so i will straight forward start the lecture sorry for being late just give me one second those who can listen me can give me a thumbs up if i am clearly visible and audible to you people as i can't see it yet now okay i hope i am clearly visible and audible to you people now so i welcome you all for the session a very good morning to all of you i am dr priyanka sachdev here and today i am here to continue my series in psm we have started psm in psm we have started bio statistics already two lectures of bio statistics are done and in the two lectures i have to taught you the basics of bio statistics today we will continue and uh, i will tell you i will teach you many new numericals based on these concepts let me tell you what we have already learned in the first 2 minutes let me revise that and after that we will move further okay so we have started statistics 2 days back in statistics in bio statistics we have learned it is a science of figures in which we collect data we classify data we summarize it interpret it draw inferences test the hypothesis make recommendations so these are the uses of bio statistics we have studied data we have studied three classifications of data this is the first classification we all know qualitative and quantitative data qualitative also known as categorical data quantitative also known as numerical data so we know qualitative quantitative data we have already studied it this is the first classification of data coming on the second classification is it discrete or continuous if it is numerical if it is numerical whether it is a whole number whole number means 1 2 3 4 no in between values are possible that is 1.5 2.3 3.1 point fraction is not possible so whole numbers that is number of family members number of children so that is a whole number so that is discrete but continuous that fractions in between values are possible so my hemoglobin is 11.3 so it is a fraction so fractions are possible there so that is continuous so continuous me continuation of fractions are possible that is the second classification and third classification is dichotomous that is binary data and polytomous so if only two options are possible that is the person is diabetic yes or no person is hypertensive yes or no person is having cancer yes or no so that is that binary or dichotomous data and poly polytomous data having multiple values multiple values so mild moderate severe poor middle class rich so that is poly polyotomous so that is the classification of data on on based on the data we have studied the scales so that is the revision brush up of the last concepts so we have studied three types of scale nominal scale ordinal scale and matrix scale nominal and ordinal scales are all are for qualitative data quality qualitative only names are there but matrix matrix is for measurement so that is for quantitative data so for quantitative data we have only one scale matrix scale but for qualitative data we have two scales nominal and ordinal Now, what is the difference between them between the two in nominal only names are there no ordering only names so what is the race hindu muslim sikh isai what is the race what is the religion what is the country india us uk what is the country so that is names are there but here in ordinal scale as the name indicate there is a order order so mild moderate severe poor middle class rich tm staging stage 1 2 3 4 so along with names we have a particular order of the names so that is ordinal so if only names are there it is nominal if along with names order is there particular ranking or order is there so it is ordinal and if it is not a name it is a number if it is a number so that is hemoglobin blood pressure weight height any number is there so it is known as matrix scale matrix is of two type in what in interval and ratio in interval we don't want have absolute zero so only addition and subtraction is possible in ratio we have absolute zero so along with addition and subtraction multiplication and division is also possible. so that is the thing so we have already studied the details of it after that that was the first lecture in the first lecture i have taught you data the types of data and types of scales in the second lecture yesterday i have taught you the data presentation so these are the way how which we present the data so of course we have two types of data quantitative and qualitative for for quantitative data these are the ways i am not reading all of them we already know it and for qualitative data we these are the ways we have done many numericals and mcqs based on this concept the concept is looking simpler but we the uh, the, the mcqs are really tricky based on this concept we have already done it yesterday those who have missed it they can watch the recording done 
after that yesterday we have done measures of central tendency if, if if we have a set of data multiple numerical values are there i am having weight of 10 students in my class so one student weighs 60 kg another 62 65 70 100 so whatever kg weight is there i am having set set of data i am having a set of data right so in the set of the data there, there for the central tendency three things are there mean median and mood so yesterday we have studied what is mean in short mean is average you know how to calculate the average what is median median is middle most value the middle most value the one which is standing at the center and mode is most frequent value most frequent value is the mode done so these are the three uh, things we have done studied yesterday today i am starting my lecture with variability no central tendency nahi. the opposite of central tendency so central tendency to mean how most commonly use karte hai. so let me give you an example what do you mean by variability what do you so an inheritance feature of all biological values by all biological observation is the variability every individual varies from the another now if one person weighs 60 kg another may be weighing 60.1 or 59.9 anything can happen so that is variability so opposite of similarity is variability variability is opposite of similarity so how it is useful just suppose i am giving you a set of five uh, uh, weights so 60 61 62 63 64 and uh, this is the it is in kgs weight of five five students this is the weight of five students done if i calculate the mean if i calculate the mean mean is the central tendency so mean will be 62 kg so on an average some are less than 62 some of them are more than 62 average every one of them is 62 so by saying 62 kg you will have an overview that all the students are weighing approximately near 62 some of them are under 62 some of them are over 62 that is the meaning of central tendency what is the meaning of variability variability means individual uh, individual uh, uh, data how much it is separated from the central one central one is 62 here now 62 is the mean so this 60 is separated by 2 kg from this this is separated by uh, there is a difference of 1 kg from the mean and this value again there is a difference of 1 kg here and there is a difference of 2 kg here so here plus 1 plus 2 minus 1 minus 2 so that is the variability so this plus 1 plus 2 minus 1 minus 2 is the variability from the central one so pehle to ek central hona chahiye us central se individual observation kitna kitna duri par hai if we say in hindi individual observation kitna kitna duri par hai that is known as variability have you got it give me a thumbs up if you got it so that is variability so how we measure variability Central tendency ki to teen tarikhe hai, mean, median, mode, we have studied all of them yesterday. Variability ki kya kya ways hai? We have four ways. Central tendency ki three ways hote hai. Variability measure karne ke we have four ways. All of them are difficult. Huh? I will try my best in this lecture to explain you this variability. Okay. So there are four ways to measure variability. What are the four ways? Number one is range. Number two is mean deviation. Range, mean deviation. Number three is standard deviation. Standard deviation. And number four is coefficient of variation, COV, coefficient of variation. So range, mean deviation, standard deviation and coefficient of variation. So we will study them one by one. We will see the formulas. We will see the numericals based on it. Okay. So let me start with range first. What is range? It is the difference between the highest and lowest figure. So if I give you a set of values, so just let me take the same example again. So weigh 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. This is the weight of five students in my class. This is the weight of five students. As I have told you, if you calculate the mean, you will find out that mean is 62 kg. Mean is 62, median is also 62. So 62 is the middlemost value, no? So that is central tendency is approx 62. Mode yahan pe kuch hai nahi, there is no mode. No value is repeating again and again. So we can say there is no mode. So mean and median is 62. Yes, yes or no? So these are the five students. So if I want to calculate variability now, central tendency to ho gai, wo to 62 hai khatam baat. Variability kaise batao? Variability batane ka first way is range. Range is minimum to maximum. What is minimum? It is 60. What is maximum? It is 64. So you will write it as 60 to 64. So this is the range. Range is minimum to maximum. So if I want to convey this information to you, so I will say you, listen, I am having five students with me. I'm having their weight with me. There is a set of data. This is my data. This is my set of data. That is the weight of five students. So I will tell you two things. The mean of that data is 62 kg 
and the range of that data is 60 to 64 kg. I will tell you two things. So you will have an overview that what is the central tendency and what is the variability. So central tendency, you will have an overview. Okay, all five students have weight something related to 62 and minimum weight is 60 and maximum is 64. And all of them are in between only. So you will have a complete overview of the situation. This is a set of small set who are having only five students. If instead of five, there can be 100 students. Na? There can be 1000 students. There can be 1 lakh students. So data can be anything. So in that data, there is a big data, big set of data. I will give you the mean and I will give you the range. Here in range, minimum and maximum are related. Maybe minimum can be 20 kg and maximum can be 110 kg. So you will see the extremes that as, as low as 20 kg uh, student is also available in, in your class. As heavy as obese as 110 kg student is also available in your class. So you will know, come to know the extremes. So range tells us extremes. Have you got it? Extremes means minimum and maximum. It can be related to the central tendency. It can be away from the central tendency. Give me a thumbs up if you got it. The concepts are difficult. So understanding only concepts is not important. I guess. Yes, you have to understand it. You have to apply in daily science. So how we apply it in, in our daily science? Have you got it? So if I'm having a set of 5 students, 10 students, 100 students with me, I'm, I have a list of their weight. 60 kg, 65 kg. What is your weight? 70 kg, say 100 kg. Some of you, some girl, maybe 40 kg, 50 kg, those who are attending the lecture. So whatever weight you are having, I'm having a list of it. I want to convey the whole information to someone. So I will tell two things. Number one, the central tendency. Number two, the variability. There are three ways for central tendency. I can tell mean, I can tell median, I can tell mode. So I will tell, usually mean is used. So mean of my students, weight of my students is 62 kg. So you will have an idea that mean means, central tendency means all the students having a weight approx to that. So that is 62 kg ke aas ka sabka weight hai. And I, for something I have to tell about the variability also. For variability, I have four things to measure. The first thing is range. I will teach you one by one. Range is the simplest one. So it is the difference between minimum and maximum. So minimum, I am having a minimum, a student having weight as low as 40 kg. And I am having an obese student with me whose weight is 110 kg. So from 40 to 110, I am having variability of all. So it gives us the value of extreme. Give me a thumbs up if you got it. So just for blood pressure, the minimum blood pressure I found is 100 and maximum I found 140. If I measure blood pressure of all of you, so minimum to maximum, systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure, fasting blood glucose minimum and maximum. So that is from minimum to maximum. That is known as range. Always remember. Remember. So it indicates the distance between the lowest and the highest value. Of course, it is not a satisfactory measure of variability. For variability, we have four measures. Na? Range. Standard deviation, mean deviation and COV, coefficient of variation. So best is standard deviation. Me, a range is not a good because it is giving us only two extreme values. It is not giving us the whole values over an idea of the whole values. It is giving the only extreme values, ignoring the distribution of other observation. So it is not, it is, it is not representative of the whole set. It is representative only of extremes. That is a drawback. That is a drawback here. It is not a very good uh, parameter. Of measuring variability should i proceed give me a thumbs up those who are listening should i come on the next uh, next parameter of variability measurement of the variability the next parameter is mean deviation mean deviation then a step ahead i will go standard deviation Pahle mean deviation kaise calculate karna hai? Uske standard kaise calculate karna hai? coefficient of variation is again easy Ye do tough hai. again i am saying these are tough so I'm starting with the second one, mean deviation. Mean deviation calculate karoge, usme ek step aur jod doge, to standard aa jayega. So mean and standard are related to each other. Let me tell you what is mean deviation. As the name indicates, uske naam mein uska meaning chupa hua hai. Mean, so first calculate mean. Mean is the central uh, tendency. So mean se kitna deviated hai. Mean se kitna deviated hai. Mean se kitna dur hai. Deviation matlab distance. How much it is distance from the mean. So that is mean deviation. So let me take an example. I don't have the example. Okay, let me find it out one for you. Okay. Do I have? Okay, I have. I guess I have. Just a second. Give me one second. Let me find one example for you. Okay, this is the example. This is the example. You can see uh, this is the respiratory rate per minute. How many respiration do you have per minute? 
respiratory rate per minute. So I am having eight persons with me. The first person is having 23 per minute respirations per minute. Second is 22, then 20, 24, 16, 17, 19, 18 and 21. Total nine persons I am having. So this is the respiratory rate per minute of nine persons. So first I will find out the mean. How I will find out the mean? How I will find out the mean? You tell me just add all of them. Add all of them. That is 180, 180 by 9. 180 by 9. Number of observations is 9. That is 20. So 20 is the mean. So answer of mean is 20. So first is to calculate the mean. To calculate the mean, mean is indicated by x bar. So it is 20. Have you got it? So just 20. So now take each of them. So take first of them. The first of them is 23. So 23, 26 is not good. Subtract mean from each of them. The mean is 20. Subtract mean from each of them. Again, I am saying subtract mean from each of them. So 23 minus 20 will be plus 3. So this is the mean deviation. Ye mean se kitna deviated hai. 22 minus 20 is plus 2. So that is mean deviation. Ye mean se kitna dur hai. Ye wala observation 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 mean se kitna dur hai. So likewise, 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 likewise. So each and every observation, how much it is apart or distant from the mean. That is mean deviation. Mean se kitna duri par hai. Each one of them. So this is the summary of each of them. Jiska 20 the 20 minus 20 0 ho gaya. Wo mean par hi hai. Mean se dur hai nahi. Wo mean par hi tika hua hai. Have you got it? So uh, you have got. Now ignore the sign. While calculating mean deviation just ignore the sign. Ignore plus minus. And add all of them. So 3 plus 2 5. 4, 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 with the minus 4 mat kar 9 ko bhi plus hi maan lo. Just ignore the sign. Add all of them. Add all of them, add all of them, add all deviation. The first observation is 3, 3 parameters apart from me. The second observation is 2 apart. Ye plus ki taraf hai, ye wale minus ki taraf hai. Ye minus 4 hai, lekin hai to 4 na. To kuch, kuch mean se kam hai, kuch mean se zada hai. To kitna numbers kam or zada hai. Un sab ka add karo. Ignore the signs. Ignore the sign, add all of them. Add all of them and divide by 9. You will get mean deviation. So that is the average mean deviation. Have you got it? Let me do it. So 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it is 20 by 9. So 20 by 9 kitna hoga? It will be 2 point, 2 point, uh, I guess 2.2. Yes, so 2.2. So I will, I will tell you, I have a set of 9 students. So all of them have some respiratory rate. They have a respiratory rate of 20, mean 20, mean is 20 and the mean deviation is 2.2, mean deviation. So each one of them is 2.2 away from the 20 on an average. So plus minus 2.2, that is the mean deviation. Give me a thumbs up, I tried my best. Give me a thumbs up. So that is mean deviation. Each observation means se kitna dur hai. Pahle to ek ek ka nikal do, ek ek ka nikal ke sab ka mean nikal do. Sab ko sum karke divide by 9. So that is the mean deviation. Deviation kitna hai mean se. Give me a thumbs up if you got it. Again, I am asking to you. So that is the uh, mean deviation is done. So how to do it? I have told you the steps. So coming on the next thing. So this is the formula for mean deviation. What you have to do? You calculate mean. Mean is x bar. Mean is x bar. That is 20 in our case. Now take individual observation. X, 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 x1, x2, x3. Subtract mean from each of them. Subtract mean from each of them. So some of them will be positive. Some of them will be negative. Ignore the sign. Negative will be positive. Manlo. Ignore the sign is a big point here. And do the summation for all of them. So some of them were plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. Some of them were minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Add all of them. Do the summation of all of them. And divide with them by the number of observation. So the formula is x. x is your observation. x1, x2, x3. Minus x bar. x bar is the mean. Subtract mean from all, all of them. And ignore the sign. Do the summation. Do the summation of all of them and divide them by number of observation. Again, give me a thumbs up. So only Amish Kumar is giving me the thumbs up. Rest of the students are getting it or not? Yes. So this is the formula for mean deviation. So till now we are done with range. Who will tell me the formula for the range? It is minimum to maximum. This is the formula for range. So minimum value to maximum value. What is the formula for mean deviation? Who will tell me? It is your observation. That is x minus x bar. X bar is the mean. So each observation you take, you take x1, you do minus x bar, x2 minus x bar, x3 minus x bar. So you are finding multiple x minus x bar. Do the summation of all of them. Do the summation of all of them and just divide by the number of observations. So this is the formula. In, in statistics now, you don't have to learn the formula. Learn the method. Formula automatically derive ho jayega. Done. Have you got it? So should I come on the third thing? Should I come on the third thing? 
स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन वॉट इज द ड्रॉबैक ऑफ मीन मीन का ड्रॉबैक क्या था क्यों हमें स्टैंडर्ड निकालना पड़ रहा है अलग से मीन अच्छा था ना मीन डिविशन वॉज गुड सो हाउ मेनी ईच हाउ मच ईच ऑब्जर्वेशन इज द डेविएटेड फ्रॉम द मीन दैट इज मीन डेविएशन ईच ऑफ दम सो एक्स वन मीन से कितना दूरी पे है एक्स टू मीन से कितना दूरी पे है एक्स थ्री मीन से कितना दूरी पे है सो मीन डेविएशन और उसका हम एवरेज ले लेंगे द प्रॉब्लम हियर was that we were ignoring the signs we were ignoring the negative and positive signs and we were adding all of them that was the problem we were not considering the sign so that's why we derived a new parameter that is standard deviation ye ek step ahead hai mean ke isme you know plus ka hum square karte hain koi bhi plus value hai plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 to answer bhi plus mein hoga jab hum minus kisi value ka square karte hain square so uska value bhi plus mein aata hai so minus 2 into minus 2 minus 2 into minus 2 is equal to plus 4 plus 2 into plus 2 bhi plus 4 hota hai do you know it yes of course you know it so plus 2 into plus 2 or minus 2 into minus 2 the answer is same answer is same so here also answer is plus 4 here also answer is plus 4 so square of a plus value is of course plus we all know it but the thing is square of a minus value is also plus so for ignoring signs we were ignoring signs and mean deviation na so usko bachne ke liye hum pehle square karenge fir square root kar denge square karke pehle sare signs ko hum plus mein convert kar denge fir hame ignore nahi karna padega we no no need to ignore that yahan pe hame ignore karna pad raha tha na plus aur minus sign ko wahan pe plus wali plus hi rahegi square ke baad bhi minus wali bhi square karne ke baad plus ho jayegi but you will say ma'am square faltu faltu kar doge to fir value to alag aayegi to baad mein square root kar lo na answer ka pehle square karo just signs karo signs ko नेगेटिव से पॉजिटिव करने के लिए सो वॉट एवर वैल्यू यू आर हैविंग जस्ट डू द स्क्वायर ऑफ ऑल दो वैल्यूज सो पॉजिटिव विल रिमेन पॉजिटिव ओनली एंड नेगेटिव विल ऑल्सो कन्वर्ट इन टू पॉजिटिव सो आफ्टर डूइंग दैट जस्ट डू द स्क्वायर रूट सो फर्स्ट स्क्वायर इट देन डू द स्क्वायर रूट इट टू नलीफाई इट टू नलीफाई दैट स्क्वायर डू द स्क्वायर रूट सो ओनली टू डिफरेंसेज फ्रॉम मेन डिविएशन टू कैलकुलेट स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन द मैथड इज सेम मेन डिविएशन जैसा ही है ओनली टू डिफरेंसेज फर्स्ट आई एम डूइंग द स्क्वायर ऑफ माई वैल्यूज and then i am doing the square root give me a thumbs up i tried my best i tried hard i really tried so itna detail mein tumhe bio statistics koi padhayega nahi done so coming on the third thing standard deviation standard deviation is denoted by sigma by greek letter known as sigma standard deviation giving us an idea of spread of dispersion so this is our central tendency so this is weight number 62 kg this is the central tendency other weights other weights that is 61 60 63 64 How much they are dispersed? That is the spread. Central says spread. How is it? That is giving an idea. So that is the spread of dispersion. Example, I am taking same in every case so that you will have a better understanding. So you are you are uh, telling us the spread of the dispersion. Central says, "Baki chizen kitna spreaded hai." So we are studying deviation, variation, not the central tendency. Central tendency to kal seek liya nikalna. Done. So let me tell you the. formula for standard deviation standard deviation is under root of variance you will ask me variance kya hota hai what is variance variance nikal denge to uska under root kar lenge to standard deviation aa jayega so what let, let first let me explain you what is variance just do this under root under root or square root of the variance you know here nothing is written means 2 is written na you already know the basics of this mathematics it is the square root square root so that is standard deviation let me tell you what is variance first i will tell you variance so how to calculate variance these are the steps so first calculate the mean let me take an example i will tell you an example also these are the formulas first this is the formula of variance you will do the under root of this variance so under root of this thing that is this thing this thing so this is the formula for standard deviation so variance hota kya hai so let me tell you in the same there are two methods of calculating variance uh you know you have two type of data ungrouped ungrouped data and grouped data group data will become difficult so all these things you have already studied in your 9th or 10th standard in mathematics in statistics you have statistics in your childhood in mathematics 9th or 10th or those who have taken maths as a subject in 11th and 12th also they may be having in 11th and 12th also so these things that is group data and ungrouped data you have studied in your childhood i will revise again don't worry i was just telling you so let me take ungrouped data in ungrouped data we have two methods in group data it will be difficult we have only one method for calculating standard deviation let me take ungrouped data ungrouped data method number 1 for method number 1 listen i will take an example ke sath hi main method samjhaungi wo easy rahega so listen let me take the example okay i don't have the example this is method 2 okay uh, 
just a second. Just give me one second. I'm having an example. I'm just searching it where it is. This is example number two. This is example number one. No? The question. I just forgot to put the question in there. Okay, this is the only question now. So I have to rub it. Can I? Yes, I can. Okay, so this is the question. So calculate standard deviation in it. So you can see this is ungrouped data. You can't find grouping in it. Grouping matlab kya hota hai? What is this ungrouped data here? What is this ungrouped data here? You can see this is the respiratory rate per minute. This is the respiratory rate per minute of nine, nine subjects, nine patients. So the first person is having respiratory rate as 23, 22, 20, 24, so on. So we, the, the data is only one number. It is 23 itself. It is not 20 to 25. So that 20 to 25 is group data. Wo baad mein batati hu. Pahle just understand ungrouped data. So this is the ungrouped data. So first thing the same as like uh, mean deviation, find out the mean. The mean, how you will find out the mean? How you will find out the mean? It will be 180 by 9. So just do the sum of all these. Sum of all these is 180. Do 180 by 9. So that is 180 by 9, that is 20. So that is the average or mean respiratory rate. Respiratory rate mean is 20 for all the patients. Then second step, what you will do? You have to find the variance. Variance kaise find karoge? Sum of squares of deviation. Just subtract the mean from all of them. Minus 20, minus 20, minus 20, minus 20, minus 20, minus 20 as you were doing in mean deviation. So sum of them values will be in plus 23 minus 20 will be plus 3. 22 minus 20 will be plus 2. 20 minus 20 will be 0. 24 minus 20 will be plus 4. Some of them will be minus. 16 minus 20 is minus 4. 17 minus 20 is minus 3. Minus 2 minus 1 plus 1 likewise. So some values are in plus. Some values are in minus. When we mean deviation calculate kar rahe the, to we were ignoring the signs. Here no need to ignore it. Square all of them. So 3 ka square. Do the square. 3 ka square is 9. 2 ka plus 2 ka square is plus 4. 0 ka square is 0. Plus 4 ka square is 16. But the thing is minus 4 ka square is also 16. So minus 3 ka square is also plus 9. So all the squares will be in plus. This is the rule. Plus ka square bhi plus hai. Minus ka square bhi plus hai. Sari squares ka summation karo. Sari squares ka summation karo. It is 60. It is 60. Now how you will calculate it? So sum of squares. Sab ka pehle square karo. No? See, see I want to tell you something here. It is difficult. So see this is your observation x. You are subtracting mean from your observation. From each observation. Then you are doing square of each of them. You are doing square of each of them. After doing square you are doing the summation. You are not doing summation first and then doing the square. Do alag alag cheeze hai. Let me tell you. So this is x minus x bar. x minus x bar. Up, you are doing first square. Then doing the summation. It is like this. It is not like this. Ki x minus x bar. First you are doing the summation and then you are doing the square. Two different things are there. What I am telling you, are you getting it? Are you getting it? So this is the thing I am telling you. First do the square, then do the summation. First do the square, then do the summation. So here in the example, you can see you have done the squares. These are the squares. First you are doing the squares and then you are adding all the squares. Then you are doing the summation. So this is the formula you can see here. So this is the formula you can see here and divide by the number of observation. You will see ma'am number of observation to 9 thena yaha pe aapne 8 kyu likhe hain. If the sample size is less than 30 na in the formula n ki jaga n minus 1 likhna hai. If the sample size is more than 30 it is n only. So it is n minus 1 here. So 60 by 8 answer is 7.5. So 7.5 is your variance. Variance mein you have done the square. Square ko nullify karne ke liye uska under root kar. Now for finding standard deviation. Standard deviation is under root of variance. So under root of 7.5. Under root of 7.5 is approx 2.7. Give me a thumbs up. I tried my best. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. That is how standard deviation has to be calculated by the first method. Everyone, I am repeating my steps. First find out mean. First find out mean. Second, uh, each that mean is your x bar. Sub take individual observation x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. Subtract mean from each of them. Subtract mean from each of them. Whatever values you are finding, some of them will be positive. Some of them will be negative. So these values, all of them, you have to do square of each of them. Square of each of them. Then next step, do the summation of their squares. Do the summation of their squares. Summation of their squares, just add them. Our question means 60. Done. 
and then divide it. Next step, divide it by n or n minus 1 depending on, on your sample size. If sample size is less than 30, it is n minus 1. If sample size is more than 30, it is n. Our question is 9 tha, sample size. So it is less than 30. So n minus 1. 9 minus 1, 8 liya mene So whatever answer you are coming here, that is known as variance. That is variance. And standard deviation, last step is under root of variance. So ye pure ka tum kar do under root. So that will be standard deviation. Give me a thumbs up, I tried. I tried, at least I tried. No one will try such hard. So I tried my best. So that is the formula of standard deviation. So in ungrouped data, that is method one. But it was a tedious method. I can I can tell you a simplified method also. Let me see. Tumhe dono mein se konsi simplified lagti hai. In Mahajan, two methods are given. Let me tell you one more method to you. So in that method, in in the first method, you have to calculate mean. Now first step was calculating mean. So here no need to calculate mean. Without calculating mean, we can do it. Without calculating mean. So let me tell you. This is the formula here. This is the formula. Now in this formula, okay. In this formula, you can see what it is. Uh, okay, let me explain you this formula. Can you see this value? What does this value mean? X is your observation. So you take each of your observation, you square it first. You first square each of your observation and do the summation of the squares. So first you are squaring, then doing the summation. Look at this, this figure. What does this figure indicate? This figure, this one. What does this indicate? In the there is a great difference. Take each of your observation, X. Each of your observation. First do the summation. First do the summation of your observation. Then after summation, do the square of the summation. Only summation. Jo answer aega sum ka. Addition ka jo answer aega uska square karo. Yaha pehle square kar rahe ho, phir summation kar rahe ho. Yaha pehle summation kar rahe ho, phir square kar rahe ho. Give me a thumbs up. Again I tried her. So this is the formula. Let me take an example. You can see the ESR. You know erythrocyte sedimentation rate of 8. 8 people is given. So the first people is having ESR as uh, 3, the second is having 4, then 5, 4, 2, 4, 5, 3. These are the 8 ESR of 8 people. So this is my data. This is my set of data. Let me tell you, find out the standard deviation of this data. So I, I will find out both these figures. What are both these figures? So I will take individual variation. I will do the uh, square of individual variation. Square of individual variation and then I will do the summation. That is the first thing. The second thing I will do, I will take individual variation. First, I will do the summation of individual variation and then I will do the square and I will subtract the two values and upon me n. This is the formula or whole upon n minus 1. So, this is the formula for standard deviation without calculating mean. So, this is my set of values. So, I am doing the summation. The summation of all of them, add them. Summation of all of them is 30. Summation of all of them is 30. So, I will do 30 ka square. So, this value, ye wala value mera konsa hai? This value is this one. This value is this one. The square kar dungi man. Now I will calculate this value. This one. Isko kaise, kaise calculate karenge? First I will do individual square. So 3 ka square is 9. 4 ka square is 16. 5 ka square is 25. So likewise I am doing individual square. And then I am doing the summation. Have you got it? In the first thing. Listen I am repeating again. In the first thing. First I am doing the summation. That is 30. Then I, I will square this 30. 30 into 30. 13 to 30, I will square it. Done. That is 112.5, whatever. And here, I am doing first square, then doing the summation. So, I found out both the values. I will put it in the formula. So, this is 120 minus 30 ka square upon 8, whole upon 8 minus 1. So, this is how I will calculate it. Answer will be same, whatever method I will apply. In this method, there is no need to calculate the mean. It is a relatively easy method. Again, give me a thumbs up. Again, give me a thumbs up. Have you got it? Yes, Arun Mehta, you are right. First sum, then square or uh, first square then sum. Degree of freedom I will come now Arun Mehta. One by one and step by step I will come at it. So degree of freedom ki baat bhi aayegi. Wait. Wait for a while. Done. Have you got it? Should I proceed? Give me a thumbs up. So that is the thing how you have to calculate it. And that is that is variance. Ye to variance ne class. Standard deviation nikal ne ke liye under root of uh, variance. So first do calculate variance. Do the under root. You will found out the standard variation. Have you got it? So that was about the ungrouped data. I told you two methods. For ungrouped data, I told you two methods for ungrouped data. Have you got it? Let me explain you both methods again. So, if you have a set of ungrouped data, ungrouped data, if you have a set, you have two methods to find out the standard deviation. Let me talk about method number one. In method number one, find out the first step. The first step is find out mean, that is x bar. 
the second step take your individual variation and subtract mean from each of them so x1 minus x bar x2 minus x bar x3 minus x bar so some values will be positive some will be negative the third step do the square of all of them so positive will remain positive only negative will also become positive negative will also become positive fourth step do the summation of their squares do the summation whatever answer is coming of each square 2 ka square 4 3 ka square 9 do the summation of each of them the last step divide them by number of observations either n or n minus 1 depending whether the sample size is uh, uh, less than 30 or more than 30 so n yeah n minus 1 this is variance and last step do the under root of this value do the under root to find out standard deviation i tried not so that is the first first method let me come on the second method in this method the first step was finding mean in second method you don't need to find mean directly apply the formula directly apply the formula let me tell you the second method in second method directly apply the formula so what you have to do take individual variation uh, individual value x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and uh, do the summation of uh, do the square of individual value do the square of individual value and do the summation of the square that is the first thing and uh, take individual value again do the summation of individual value and then square then square it so here you are doing square first followed by summation here you are doing summation first followed by square so look at the brackets and subtract it from each other subtract it from each other so this is how without calculating mean you can do it and divide it by n only if it is less than 30 uh, if it is more than 30 if it is less than 30 whole upon n minus 1 be a so this is the formula so directly in method 2 you have to apply a formula there are no steps give me a thumbs up i tried hard again i tried hard give me a thumbs up done should i proceed ahead so these are the two methods of finding standard deviation i guess for ungrouped data let me talk about group data Ab all difficult to be so in group data this is my grouping so 0 to 10 this is the uh, daily communication time there are doctors some doctors are there who talk to their patient how much history they take to their patient how much they how many minutes they they, they give each patient so to each patient they give 0 to 10 minutes there are four doctors who do so there are six doctors who give 10 to 20 minutes to each patient there are nine doctors who give 20 to 30 minutes each patient they will examine thoroughly ask thoroughly take a history detailed history there are four doctors who give 30 to 40 minutes to each patient and there are only two doctors who give 40 to 50 minutes so this is grouping 0 to 10 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 this is continuous grouping and this is known as frequency of the grouping so in the first group there are four doctors in the second group so there are four you know in the second group there are six one two three four five six you know how to draw it so that is known as frequency you know so grouping is our frequency ID how will you calculate standard deviation in this scenario in this scenario how you will calculate standard deviation abna method one se hoga na method two se hoga how you will calculate now so we have a separate formula for it we have a separate formula the formula is in front of you this is the formula for variance first calculate variance then we will do under root of the variance to get the standard deviation let me calculate variance first so variance mein hum kya karenge? we will calculate midpoint so 0 to 10 ka midpoint at 5 10 to 20 ka midpoint at 15 so we will take a midpoint that is indicated by m m is the midpoint and frequency is f so we have two values m and f so we will convert the grouping into midpoint so first take the midpoint so 0 to 10 ka midpoint can be arbitrary you can take 5 also 4 also whatever is your wish you can take the midpoint so 0 to 10 ka midpoint is 5, 10 to 20 ka 15, 20 to 30 ka 25, 30 to 40 ka 35, 40 to 50 ka 45. That is the midpoints and frequency is already given in your question. This is the frequency. There are 4 doctors who give 5 minutes to each patient. There are 6 doctors who give 15 minutes. Actually, they, there are 6 doctors um, who give 10 to 20 minutes. 10 to 20 ko maine average 15 le liya. So there are 9 doctors who give 25 minutes to each patient. 4 doctors who give 35 minutes to each patient. There are two doctors who give 45 minutes to each patient. So I have taken the midpoint. Now I have to calculate two things here. I have to calculate two things. I will multiply frequency with the midpoint. So multiply 4 by 5. It is 20. 6 by 15. It will be 90. Multiply all of them. Just multiply. MF. MF. So midpoint and frequency do the multiplication. Number one, find out this value. Find out this value and do the summation in that. Do the summation in that. That is the summation of MF. First find m into f, m into f, m into f, m into f, m into f and do the summation of all of them. Done? Yeah, that is the first thing. Second thing, first do the square of m. Then multiply with f. m square f. 
फर्स्ट डू द स्क्वायर ऑफ एम वॉट इज मिड पॉइंट फाइव फाइव का स्क्वायर क्या होता है ट्वेंटी फाइव सो हियर फाइव इंटू फाइव इंटू फोर करके देखो आंसर विल भी हंड्रेड सेकेंड केस में वॉट इज द मिड पॉइंट हियर मिड पॉइंट इज फिफ्टीन हियर सो फिफ्टीन इंटू फिफ्टीन इंटू फ्रीक्वेंसी सिक्स सिक्स सो एम स्क्वायर एफ सो टू टाइम्स एम इंटू एफ थर्ड में ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव इज द मिड पॉइंट सो ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव फ्रीक्वेंसी क्या है नाइन करके देखो आंसर विल बी दिस यू जस्ट क्रॉस चेक इट बाय आर यूजिंग कैलकुलेटर फोर्थ में थर्टी फाइव इंटू थर्टी फाइव इंटू फोर फिफ्थ में फोर्टी फाइव इंटू फोर्टी फाइव इंटू टू यू कैन सी द फ्रीक्वेंसी हियर आई हैव सीन फ्रॉम हियर डन सो यू कैन सी द आंसर सो यू कैलकुलेट एम स्क्वायर एफ एंड डू द समेशन ऑफ दैट ऑल्सो सो समेशन ऑफ एम स्क्वायर एफ सो आई एम हैविंग टू वैल्यूज एम एफ का समेशन एम एफ का समेशन और एम स्क्वायर एफ का समेशन जस्ट अप्लाई द फॉर्मुला तो इन द फॉर्मुला यू कैन सी देर आर टू थिंग्स वेरी इजी जस्ट अप्लाई द फॉर्मुला हियर यहाँ पे एम स्क्वायर एफ का समेशन का आंसर लिख दो यहाँ पे आंसर लिख दो वॉट इज द आंसर हियर इट इज सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव डन और यहाँ पे एम एफ का समेशन का आंसर लिख दो दैट इज फाइव सिक्सटी फाइव फाइव सिक्सटी फाइव का स्क्वायर अपॉन एन इज ट्वेंटी फाइव और होल अपॉन इज ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज एन एन इज योर फ्रीक्वेंसी your frequency frequency ka sum total is 25 so just apply the formula you will get the value that value is of variance do the under root of it you will get standard deviation give me a thumbs up i tried hard i tried hard i tried hard i am thinking i am a mathematician great mathematician done so these things are difficult to understand so they, these are statisticians you know who calculate the, all these things so that is the standard deviation that is 11.41 minute so what is the average of this whole uh that is 11.4 is the uh, variation from the central tendency so central tendency is pure ka mai bolungi what is the central tendency will be 25 minutes so i will give you uh, what does it mean on an average every doctor is giving 25 minutes to the patient some of them are giving less than 25 minutes some of them are giving more than 25 minutes but 25 minutes is the midpoint 25 minutes plus minus 11.4 so 11.4 is giving us the standard deviation plus minus it can be plus it can be minus so that is the average standard deviation give me a thumbs up if you understand the standard deviation term now it will be easy for you to understand the normal distribution curve normal gaussian curve so these things are difficult but i tried one more example for group data so you will help me in finding this you will help me so uh, there are five surgeons who do 10 to 12 surgeries in one day in one day nahi ek din mein nahi karega ek month maybe in one month i am assuming there are 14 surgeons who do 13 to 15 surgeries in a month there are 19 surgeons who do 16 to 18 surgeries in a month and there are 12 surgeons who do 19 to 21 surgeries in a month how you will do tell me the steps tell me the steps who will tell me the steps so what you will do it is a group data grouping is there grouping is there there is no one observation so to convert grouping into individual observation you want individual one one observation take midpoint first step is to find the midpoint what is the midpoint of 10 to 12 10 11 12 so 11 is the midpoint na so 11 13 to 15 mein 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 so these are the midpoints frequencies are already there we have midpoints with us we have frequency with us yes yes or no so we have m we have f we will calculate two things First m into f. Just do the multiplication. Just do the multiplication. Eleven into five, fifty-five. I am not doing the calculations. Ha, huh? m f. Second thing you have to find is m square f. Do the m square. Eleven into eleven into five. Fourteen into fourteen into fourteen. Seventeen into seventeen into nineteen. Twenty into twenty into twelve. So m square f. Yahan pe values likho. Calculations are big. I am not doing it. So I am telling you the steps. So do the summation of this also. M f. and do the summation of this also m square f ka bhi summation karo aap summation ki values le lo and apply it in the formula this is the formula so see this is f f to the i u i you have found out the midpoint these are the midpoints you can see i have calculated this is m f this is m square f. so this is m f inko multiply kar do and this is m square f do the summation of both of them summation of m f summation of m square f So write down the steps and apply it in the formula. The formula is in front of you. Formula is in front of you. So this is the value for m square f wala. This is the value m f wala. Just apply it in the formula. You will get your answer. But this is the answer of variance. Do the under root. Don't forget to do under root in the end to found out to found out the variation. So variation is two point eight one surgeries. So two point eight one surgeries is the variation. 
done so that is the standard deviation so midpoint of all of them is approx 14 or 15 so 14 15 plus minus 2.8 that will be the variance that will be the standard deviation so mean is 15 mean calculate kar sakte hain aur plus minus jitna bhi standard deviation hai that is the summary give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up so if the value is coming high value is more high standard deviation is coming so it means that the data is dispersed away from the mean and value is low so data is towards the mean here our value is 2.8 it is not too high so it is low so data is not dispersed so minimum is 10 maximum is 21 so it is not very much dispersed so sometime it may be dispersed so the, your value will be high so that is the indication of standard deviation have you got it have you got it say yes or no so ungrouped data tell me the summary till now ungrouped data ka kya formula tha or grouped data ka kya formula tha this was the formula for ungrouped data depending your sample size is sample size is uh, less than 30 or more than 30 so if it is more than 30 this is the formula this one this one and if it is less than 30 n ki jaga n minus 1 a jayega the only thing yaha pe n ki jaga you will find n minus 1 rest of the formula is same so this is method number 2 which i have taught, taught you without calculating mean kaise kar sakte hain so first square then summation first summation then square ye wo wala method hai so that is for ungrouped data and for grouped data these are the two formulas in front of you again this formula is for more than 30 sample size this formula is for less than 30 sample size only difference n ki jagah n minus 1 hai. and this is for group data group data mein you will find m m is the midpoint here m is the midpoint yahan pe m nahi tha midpoint nahi tha kyunki yahan pe individual observation tha yahan pe individual observation nahi hai to hame pehle midpoint lena padega in both of these this is the formula for variance we have to calculate standard deviation so we have to do the under root of variance under root of variance and me is pure ka under root karna mat bhulo ya to is formula mein hi under root laga do if you forget it just apply under root in this formula only just learn the final formula give me a thumbs up everyone everyone give me a thumbs up so i tried my best so we are done with the range what is range it is minimum to maximum what is standard deviation what is standard deviation we take individual observation we subtract the mean from each of them. We ignore signs. Here we positive negative ignore kar rahe hai, square nahi kar rahe And we do the summation of all of them. Whether plus or minus, we are ignoring sign. We are doing the summation and we are dividing by n. We are dividing by n. In standard deviation, we are first squaring it, then summating it, and then under rooting it. So from mean deviation only, I am finding the formula of standard deviation. This is for ungrouped. For group data, you know, we take the midpoints also. Now coming on the last thing, coefficient of variation. Give me a thumbs up if you people are with me. Give me the thumbs up. So I'm coming on coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation that is known as COV. This is used for comparing the variability, not for calculating variability actually. If I'm giving out, you are two data, two data sets. So let me take an example. There are girls in the class. There are boys in the class. Done. So girls have weight of 50, 51. Girls usually have low weight, right? 53, 60, 65. There are five girls in the class. There are five boys in the class having made this one 63 65 70 whatever now don't go in individual observation i'm calculating variance variance means yaha ka jo mean aega the individual value mean se kitna kitna dur hai aur yaha ka jo mean aega individual value yaha pe kitna dur dur hai so that is the variance if i want to compare variance kis mein zyada hai if you want to compare the two sets then coefficient of variation will be useful for you so it is used to compare the relative variability in two sets of data you are having two sets with you. Now you want to compare variability is me zada hai ki is me zada hai. So that is you, you can calculate like this. So this is the formula of COV. You can see this is the formula. See below. COV coefficient of variation is standard deviation upon mean into 100. Very simple. Standard deviation upon mean into 100. So standard deviation is sigma upon x bar into 100. You can say like this. So this is the formula. Standard deviation upon mean into 100 whatever you say this is the formula let me take an example let me take an example you can see there are adults there are children adults mean mean height is 160 centimeter my height is 153 centimeter maybe you are 157 160 whatever height you are having children having mean height of 60 this is the standard variation in adults 10 standard variation in children which group is having more variation which group is having more variation calculate cov for both of them calculate cov for the first adults in adults mean height upon standard deviation uh standard deviation upon mean no yes standard deviation upon mean into 100 so 10 upon 160 into 100 that will be here or here pe 5 upon 60 into 100 
Calculate the answer for both of them. 10 upon 116 to 100, 5 upon 16 to the 100. So, answer will be in percentage because you are doing in 200. So, you can see in children, variability is more. In adults, variability is less. And you can calculate the ratio of variability also. So, that is the thing you have to do. You can see another example. Another example, in a series of boys, we have taken systolic blood pressure for the boys. And we found all the boys having systolic blood pressure mean is 120. On an average, everyone is having systolic blood pressure of 120 with a standard deviation of 10. So, plus minus 10. The same, we have calculated height also. Uh, okay, in the same series of mean height, just again, what is the question? Standard deviation, uh, we have calculated height also. So, on an average, all the boys have height of 160 centimeter. Standard deviation is 5. So, plus minus 5. So, see, 160 plus minus 5. So, which character, whether the blood pressure or whether the height is showing more variation is showing more variation so calculate cov in both of them so first calculate cov for blood pressure it is 10 by 120 cov for height it is 5 by 160 you can see the formula is in both of them the formula is it is the standard deviation upon mean in 200 just apply this formula for both of them you will calculate the percentage and you will see which variation in which character is more so you can see 8.3 and 3.1 of course 8.3 is more than 3.1 so, variation in blood pressure is more as compared to height. So, average blood pressure for all the boys is 120 plus minus 10. Some having more 10, some having minus 10. But all the values will be plus minus 10 in between. And average height is 160 plus minus 5. Plus minus 5. So, blood pressure is having more variance than height. Done? So, that is how you calculate coefficient of variation. Give me a thumbs up if you got it. I tried hard. So, all four values are done. So, range, mean deviation, standard deviation and coefficient of variation. Do you have any doubt? If you have any doubt, please write down in the chat, chat box. Please. What is the formula for range? It is minimum minus maximum. What is the formula for coefficient of variation? It is mean upon standard deviation into 100. Ulta Bodhya. Standard deviation upon mean into 100. So that is coefficient of variation. And you know how to calculate mean deviation you know how to calculate standard deviation. I have told you various methods. Do you want a revision or you, you have got it? I hope you have got it. Okay, Milan. Okay, you got it. Done. So, should I proceed? Do you want some questions based on these concepts? The questions are really difficult and tricky one. The big questions I have already taken in the examples. You can see from there. Small questions, one-liners I will put here. So, see, read the question, tell me the answer. Who will tell me the answer? You can write your answer in the chat box. So, just do the calculation. I will give you a minute to do the calculation. Take a notebook, take a paper. Take a pen and just do the calculation. Read the question. I will read it for you. So, median. Median weight of 100 children is 12. So, I will consider that as mean only. Although median is given, mean to hai nahi na. So, I will consider. Kyunki mean nahi hai, to second choice hamari median ho jayegi. So, mean ya median it is 12 kg. So, I have, I have a group of 100 children with me. So, children number, child number 1, child number 2, child number 3. If I take the median of all of them, there is 12 kg weight is the median. Standard division is 3 plus minus 3. What is the percentage of coefficient of variance? COV gets the nikaloge. How you will calculate COV? So, what is the formula for COV? The formula for COV is mean upon standard deviation into 100. But mean is not given. So, I consider author will take median as the mean only. Yes or no? Median as the mean only. So, median weight is 12 kg. Yes, median is considered as mean only. So, you have, you have to put the value only. So, it will be 3 upon 12 into 100 just do the calculation what it is coming 3 upon 12 into 100 is 25 it will be 25 1 by 4 and it will be 25 so the correct answer here is a you all are right the correct answer here is 25 percent. so that is percentage uh, coefficient variances purchase person 25 percent. that is the thing done or not have you got it have you got it should I proceed? This is the next question in front of you. This is how questions are coming in your exam. The questions are a little bit simpler ones. Done. The big, big question is especially pre-final year in the MBBS. That is third year in the MBBS. Give practicals in PSM. Which I have grouped or ungrouped data. Bataya. So you should know the whole process also. Done. So this is the next question in front of, in front of you. So if the birth weight of each of the 10 babies born in a hospital on one day found to be 2.8. So, 10 babies are born. Baby number 1, baby number 2, baby number 3, baby number 4, so on till baby number 10. All of them, now coincidentally, all of them having birth weight of 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8. Every one of them having birth weight of 2.8. What is the standard division in this scenario? Who will tell me the standard division? Ashish, Milan, Anish, Amish, anyone else? 
yes what will be the standard uh, deviation hemendra singh anyone what will be the standard deviation is it 2.8 is it 0 is it 1 is it 0.28 what will be the standard deviation in the scenario very few information less information is given in the question but that is sufficient yes Yes, you people are right. The standard division in this scenario is 0 because all the values are same. So, mean will also be 2.8. So, none of the value <coughs> is uh, separated from the mean. So, if you if you subtract each value from the mean, so 2.8 minus 2.8, it will be 0. So, square of 0 and under root of 0 will also be 0. So, the correct answer here is 0. Yes, done. So, it is a common sense. So, square of 0. So, individual value is 2.8. Mean is also 2.8. So 2.8 minus 2.8 jab aap karoge to 0, 0 ka square or 0 ka under root it will be 0. So the correct answer here is 0. So all the values are at center only. They are not dispersed. So there is no dispersion. There is no dispersion. There is no separation in this in this set of data. In this particular set of data. Yes, you all are right. Done. So correct answer here is 0. Let me move further. This is the next question in front of you. Who will tell me the correct answer? This is the next question in front of you. You can see the question. In each value... Of given if each value in a given group of observation is multiplied by 10 so what will be the effect on standard deviation what will be the original standard deviation ka 10 times ho jayega ki divide by 10 ki minus 10 ki wo utna hi rahega. standard deviation ka kya hoga if individual value is uh, multiplied by 10 if individual value is multiplied by 10 what will happen individual value is multiplied by 10 what will happen yes apply the formula now what is the formula so x minus x bar a square upon n uska under root so this is the formula na so if individual value is multiplied by 10 so it will be the whole value will be greater than 10 na so 10 ka square will be 100 10 into 10 100 or 100 ka under root will be 10 so standard division will also be 10 times so i guess the correct answer should be a let me check yes the correct answer is a so the formula only you just have to apply the concepts the concept is very simple it is given you have to apply it in the formula each value multiplied by 10 so each value will be greater than 10 so 10 into 10 will be 100 and under root of 100 will again be 10 yes or no give me a thumbs up uh, no it will not be itself million have you understood million uh, ashish is saying c amish amish kumar are you saying c for this question no you are wrong and uh, million is saying d million you are also wrong it is not less than 10 or itself it will be into 10 only so if individual value is increased by 10 times so standard deviation will also increase by 10 times have you got it give me a thumbs up amish and milan if you got the concept should i move further this is the next question in front of you it is a pgi question you can give me multiple answers so following denotes the measure of variability there are four measures of variability there are three measures for central tendency there are four measures of variability let me enumerate them then you will tell me the answer central tendency there are three measures mean median and mood they measure the central tendency variability ki there are four measures range number one range mean deviation standard deviation is square square root of mean only you can see mean deviation is variance only that is standard deviation and fourth one is coefficient of variation so in the question what it is asking what are the measures of variability variability ke kya kya measures hai? now see the option range yes it is a measure mean deviation yes it is a measure standard deviation yes it is a measure median no mode no median and mode are the measures of central tendency so correct answer here is a b c as i have told you it is a pgi question up to hoti nahi hai pgi it is converted into nict but in pgi multiple options are correct yes amish kumar abc is the correct answer done should i move further <coughs> this is the next question in front of you if the sample size is less than 30 what is the formula for standard deviation for ungrouped data, you have to midpoint. Nahi hai. So, of course, it is ungrouped data. So, what is your answer? Who will tell me? Standard, after sample size is less than 30. Many individual formula alag alag hai aapko. I have told you individual formula separately. If the sample size is less than 30, what is the formula? If the sample size is more than 30, what is the formula? I am asking for sample size less than 30. What is the formula? What is the formula? For standard deviation, who will tell me? Who will tell me? Amish. Milan, anyone? Hemendra Singh Chauhan, anyone? Write down in the chat box. I am waiting for you to write the answer. Milan has given our answer, but unfortunately, I don't think Milan you are wrong. Uh, you are saying A as the answer, Milan. But uh, if you are doing square root, now first you have to do the square, Milan. Now see the options again. Palace square, karo, square root, karo, Milan. 
पहले स्क्वायर तो करो ए में स्क्वायर ही नहीं है सिर्फ स्क्वायर रूट है स्क्वायर रूट इज प्रेजेंट इन ऑल ऑफ दम लेट मी लेट मी लॉबरेट इट स्क्वायर रूट इज प्रेजेंट इन ऑल ऑफ दम स्क्वायर रूट इज प्रेजेंट इन ऑल द ऑप्शन स्क्वायर रूट तो स्क्वायर रूट करने से पहले स्क्वायर तो करोगे ना अमीश इज सेंग बी एज द करेक्ट आंसर डी एज द करेक्ट आंसर सो अमीश आई गेस यू आर राइट आई गेस यू आर राइट यस अमीश इज राइट सो करेक्ट आंसर इज डी सो स्क्वायर रूट करोगे तो स्क्वायर होना चाहिए फर्स्ट टू फॉर्मुलाज में देर इज नो स्क्वायर You can see there is no square directly square root kiya hai. So first two formulas are incorrect. The third and fourth is right. So third formula is formula when sample size is more than thirty. And D is the answer if sample size is less than thirty. In the question it is less than thirty, so D is the correct answer. If in the question instead of less than thirty, more than thirty is asked, then C will be the correct answer. Right, Anish? Yes. Should I proceed? Done. So this is how questions can be framed. Done. So correct answer here is. so you can see both both are given for larger samples more than 30 this is the formula and for smaller samples less than 30 we take 30 as cut off some books say 50 also but i i believe mahajan only so mahajan is the best book for statistics you should prefer mahajan so statistics by mahajan so all my notes are from mahajan only it is a big book thick book for statistics so don't go for the complete book if you are not a statistician so for mbbs purpose only whatever i am giving you that is more than sufficient so you should study it and for reference you should take the mahajan so mahajan says 30 so i believe 30 only so 30 is the cut off for these formulas so you can see that is a standard textbook you should take for biostatistics this is the next question in front of you this is the next question in front of you if s is indicating standard deviation and b is indicating variance what is the relationship between them what is the relationship between them S and B के बीच में क्या रिलेशनशिप है? Who will tell me? The four options are in front of you. B is square root of S. Is S is square root of B? B is two times S. Is S is two times of B? What is the correct answer? A B C D is in front of you. Fast, Milan, Amish, anyone else? Johan, I forgot the name. Anyone else? Yes, I am waiting for you to answer it. What is the relation between standard deviation and variance? So yes, you people are right. As I have told you, as I have told you, Milind, you are right. Standard deviation is square root of variance. So square root is written here. So B is the correct answer. Yes, you all are right. The correct answer here is B. I guess you are right. So okay. So I have to stop here. Time is over. More than one hour. I have taught you. So in the next lecture, I will start normal distribution curve. That is Gaussian Gaussian curve. So we will move one step ahead. If you understood standard deviation, we will talk about one standard deviation, two standard deviation, and three standard deviation. Today you understood what is standard deviation. Done? Done or not done? So next lecture we will continue it tomorrow only. Thank you so much for being with me. I really enjoy teaching you. Hopefully same from your side also. Don't forget to write your feedback in the chat box whenever you are watching this lecture. If you are watching live, if you are watching recorded, whatever. just don't forget to give me your feedback your suggestions for any improvement your feedbacks are really important for me and if you want the complete psm i am teaching here only biostatistics if you want complete psm if you want especially the epidemiology the numericals based on epidemiology and case control study cohort study experimental epidemiology all lectures are available free of cost not on youtube they are available on anacademy learners app so what you have to do first those who are the newcomers they have to install the anacademy learners app from the play store after installing select goal as neet pg after selecting goal search my name in the educators plus educators my name is dr priyanka sachdev that is the spelling of my name you search my name you will find my name you will find a profile link there follow my profile link you will get a list of all my recorded free lectures there so i take lectures for patho pharma micro psm medicine multiple subjects are available so whatever subject you wish all lectures are available free of cost there along with the pdf of the notes so i advise all of you after watching it just go on the app install the app if you are newcomer and just watch it for once you will have a better experience on the app as compared to the youtube there are many more features available on the app but for it you will require a code if you are a newcomer you will require a code it is free but you will require a code the code is my surname only sachdev tan so it is s a c h d e v sachdev tan don't hesitate to distribute it distribute this code to all the medicos you know all over the globe so wherever you know any medico distribute this code and ask ask that medico to install an academy app 
and apply this course and watch all the free lecture series so on, not only for me other educators also the lectures available for free you can unlock it by using this code so distribute this code to all your batch groups your juniors seniors batch mates interns everyone done along with the free there are plus subscriptions also available on an academic platform so we have two types of plus subscription uh, paid subscription plus one and iconic one in plus you will get access only to an academy lectures in iconic along with an academy you will get access to prep ladder lectures also so better to go with iconic if you are thinking of taking a plus subscription these are the batches available on the plus platform one for fmg one for next and there are some batches for need pg so separate batches for separate exam we have need pg one month package also which cost only 4500 rupees only and you will get additional 10 percent discount if you use my code such day plan this is the schedule for grand test series every sunday on plus platform we have this grand test so if you give this grand test participate in it you will come to know your real time all india level rankings so that will be a better way of assessment i guess and you should uh, participate in it you take the subscription and take the advantage of this grand test series and know your rank so that kon kitne pani mein hai pata chalega done and last two offers for you if you take a subscription for 12 months you will get additional 2 months free don't forget and if you are taking a subscription for 4 years you will get 60000 on the plus and 75000 for iconic so that is the most cost effective subscription available with uh, with us you know so 4 year subscription that is the price for 4 years these are the other subscriptions available in plus starting from 2 month till 4 years these are the other subscriptions available in iconic starting from 12 months till 4 years done you can see longer the duration of subscription cheaper it is so cheapest is Four year subscription. Monthly installment is only twelve hundred for plus and fourteen hundred for iconic. So if you are a first year or second year student, go for a longer subscription. So uh, you can see a longer subscription you can take, and you can take smaller also if you wish. Whatever subscription you are taking, don't forget the code. The code is same for free classes. So if you apply this code just before payment, you will get ten percent discount on the payment. So don't forget. Don't forget it. And uh, the summary is that. the code is useful for free classes also code is useful for paid classes also so those who are newcomers and they want to attend only free lectures they can apply this code they can enter in an academy learners app and watch all the free lectures available there using this code those who want to take the additional advantage by taking a paid subscription plus or iconic whatever plus also iconic also so they can apply the same code before payment and they will or they will gain maximum discount for the so whatever uh, classes you want the code is same okay see you bye bye my next class yeah my next class is tomorrow morning same time at 8:30 i will teach you pathology pathology ibqs image based questions of pathology we will discuss tomorrow morning maybe i will be taking i guess i will be taking reproductive system male reproductive system at 9 am in the morning i will teach you pharmacology in pharmacology i will teach you adrenergic drugs alpha and beta agonists don't dare to mess at 10 am again in the morning i will teach you psm same biostatistics i will continue with gaussian cup and the probability so that the lectures are there in the morning from 8:30 to 11 so don't forget to join me tomorrow 8:30 for patho 9 o'clock for pharma and 10 for psm every day every day on youtube please distribute this information to your friends colleagues everyone so these lectures are free let everyone get benefit of it okay see you bye bye i am ending this lecture